Welcome back again. This is still Why in the Morning and you are rightly tuned in because you are on time for a very great conversation around health. I said we don't have health today, but... Uh, who are we? <laughs> yeah, we have something great for you. We'll be talking about the weight loss journey, the natural way. And for that, we are joined by Dr. Nelly Kuria, who is a professional nutritionist with over 20 years of experience. Yeah. So, Dr. Nelly, welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. Good to see you and good to be here. I'm so humbled being here. Ah, amazing. <laughs> so t tell us what, what exactly you do. I've just mentioned it in passing so you can give us the details of what you do. Okay, we have different kinds of treatment that you're offering. As in, we'll deal with people who want to cut down on their weight. Mm -hmm. People who are obese or people who are not obese but they have mm -hmm. problem areas. Mm -hmm. Like for women, the tummy, the yeah. bicep, the tars behind, the thighs. Mm -hmm. For guys, just the tummy, the love handles, and some have developed boobs because of being big. Have you ever noticed that on yes, men? Yes, yes. Yes. So, of course, we will get into <laughs> all of that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yes. but first, tell us, what is the ideal way? Uh, talking of people who are obese, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to assume that the big people are the ones who are obe obese. Is it obese? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Or whichever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it is easy to assume it's only the big people who are obese. So... Uh, how exactly should one uh, know? Okay, now you you don't have to be obese. Because mm -hmm. like you can be very tiny like the way you are. You are very tiny, yes? Mm -hmm. But being tiny and you have a big tummy, it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is you are tiny, but you have a problem on your tummy. Is it an uh, issue? We are, I'm just assuming. I'm not saying okay. that you have it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes. I'm asking, is it an issue, a health issue, or is it an issue just, you know, on a personal level with the person? It's a health issue as well. You lose even your esteem. Mm hmm as in you don't feel good. Like now you see the way you are dre you've dressed. You're looking very nice. Thank but you. imagine your mm -hmm. tummy big, being being big, mm -hmm. you can't be comfortable. You can't be comfortable. And you find that most women, they are ever on belts, slimming belts that they have to put in yeah. so that they can try to hold their tummy, which is very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, okay. So you're solving that. Yes. And now for what is the ideal weight for someone to have? Depend on how tall you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if you are tall, this, uh, w you should be, okay, like personally, I'm tall, yes? Mm -hmm. I weigh 60. You will find someone of my height weighing 100 and something. Or someone of my height weighing 80 something. Mm -hmm. So it depends on your height and your weight. So once I check on how tall you are, I'll be able to know how many kilos that you should be. Mm -hmm. Though I have a weighing machine that when you, you step on it, it will show me how you are, as in your height, your weight, your water taking, whether you do take water or whether you don't take water. It will show me your BMI. Mm -hmm. It will show me your age. That is, uh -huh. de depending on your height, I mean, depending on your weight, you should be this weight. So you might find mm -hmm. that. You are you're just a young person, but the weight that you have is for someone who is over 50 yet you are 30 something mm -hmm. so you see once you are big you you tend to look more older than your age okay mm -hmm. so uh, do you advise that people have regular checks with a nutritionist to just know their bmi mm -hmm. and where they stand at no the thing is okay you see kenyans we are just funny we are just there mm -hmm. kenyans we are just funny we are just there most people don't think of that till the time that they notice they are having some health issues because of the fat deposit that they have already accumulated. Mm -hmm. That is the way Kenyans are. We don't care. And you see, it's not like it's not like long time back where you felt that when you are big, you are rich. It's, mm -hmm. it's no longer status. Yeah. So when you have a big tummy, you see, before we used to see when you are big, you have a lot of money. Yeah, it's it's, as, it's no longer status. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm. So once you're very big, you'll be having some terminal illness. And then you can even... You can even die before your age because now the terminal illness that you're going to have, it's because of the fat deposit on the torso areas. Mm -hmm. That is why you have some people who are having diabetics, some people who have pressure, some people get stroke, some cancers come because of the fat Wait. deposit. Mm -hmm. Yes, all that. So these are the, some of the illnesses associated mm -hmm. with, with uh, excess weight. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are the problems that you have 
come across and the problems that you're solving for women let's start mm -hmm. with women before mm -hmm. we get to the men so for for women for us women let me say mm -hmm. we have most problem of our most most areas that we have which we are so much concerned it's our tummy you'll find someone having a very big bicep as in when you're saying by flabby flabby <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yeah. bicep and the thighs and some people have double chin mm -hmm. and the tires behind you might someone you might find that, that someone is sitting down yet the tummy has fallen here it's mm -hmm. so uncomfortable very it's so uncomfortable even when you're using a mat when you want to get in you'll be told oh the mat is only for one person so they tend to see you like you are two people mm -hmm. yet you're just one person it, and this affects your self-esteem in the sure, long run sure yeah? sure sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how do you deal with uh, such cases someone coming with you know the flabby Let, biceps mm -hmm. and the tummy okay existence. once the client gets to our clinic we have to take your measurement inch wise and weight wise and I've, as I've said, you step on the weighing scale for me to know all that I need to know. So once we take your measurement, there's a solution. No, once the client comes, there's a health questionnaire that you have to fill in. Mm -hmm. So once I go through the health questionnaire, I'll be able to know whether you have any health issues for me to know how I'll handle you up. Mm -hmm. So once I've done all that, I'll take the measurement inch-wise and weight-wise. These are, these are solution, just natural solution from the Dead Sea that will apply on the problem areas. That's the tummy, the tires behind, the bicep, the thighs, and the chin. So the solution will help to open up your clog pools. Because mm -hmm. you'll find that, and if I step on you, I'm sorry, you'll find like in the morning, you just oil yourself the whole body. It's not necessary. The oh, body really? has its own oil. So we're not supposed, <laughs> this, this is new. <laughs> the body this has its new. own so oil. it's not a must for someone to oil themselves. No, you can oil yourself as in from here down and from here up to here. Uh -huh. But the body, has, the body has got its own oil. Personally, I don't oil myself. Ah, the so body has its own the oil. The men are safe because uh, you rarely get men. Uh, no, <laughs> nowadays they are, they are kind of, <laughs> yeah, they there. do, uh. but... It's not necessary. Okay. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. So once, 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 once we apply the solution, it will open up your clog pores. So any water retention or any toxins that you have in the body will come out when the pores are opened. Mm -hmm. After applying the solution, we'll tie you up like an Egyptian mummy. Okay. So we'll mummify you. Uh, it's, not, <laughs> it's not scary. I'm trying to get the picture. <laughs> it's so not scary. Uh, okay. So we'll mummify you. So the bandages, there are special bandages that will help to contour or to shape up the body in that you can get back to your shape. Mm -hmm. so, so because uh, some people, uh, when they lose weight, they, their body shape changes completely. Yes, of course, yes. Okay, so this so, helps with maintaining the body shape. The shape, shape yes. Mm -hmm. So once we apply the solution, we'll mummify you. The mummification or the bandages will help to shape up your body or to contour the body in that you'll get back to your shape. This is a journey. Don't come with an expectation of a single day, as in a single day I flat you. We have to be very realistic. As in, however you are, it just didn't happen within a day. It has taken you time to be the person that you are. So don't come with an expectation of a single day I flat you. So this is a journey. Mm -hmm. So once we do the mummification, I'll expect you to be losing, to lose from 8 to 16 inches instantly. As in, within the, within the two hours that you'll be with me, mm -hmm. at least you can be able to fit well on an outfit that can fit you well. Mm -hmm. And within the two hours, for a guy can be able to button on a shirt that couldn't button. It's in so two, amazing. In two, yes. in two hours? Yes. How? Yes. <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay. It sounds a bit, uh, you know, out of this world, but mm -hmm. okay. So you have had... You, you have had testimonies and people coming. There in. are many. Mm -hmm. Actually, if my clients knew that I was coming here, I guess they can call. <laughs> and say, I mean, they give out testimonies, but people are doing very well. Okay. So, like, in, in case you want to go for a wedding and you have an outfit that can't fit you, yeah. and this treatment is not water retention, mm -hmm. actually, I'll advise you to take plenty, plenty of water so that you can keep on flushing out the toxins. Okay. Then, for the three days, the treatment will still continue working on you even after. So, I'll advise you to take plenty, plenty of water, though I won't let, let you shower with soap because you're going to clog the pools again. Mm -hmm. So you just shower with water only? With water only. 
All right. I'm doing some budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so a bit so difficult. Kenya, you know? <laughs> so okay. you'll shower, but no soap and no lotion, as I've said, because you're going to clog back the pores that have already been opened. So now this is one type of treatment or it applies to, uh, you know, every other situation? No, that's just one treatment. That's one The first session, as in, like now you'll find that when people go, as in, before we do the, the, the treatment to break down the fat deposit, you need to detoxify. And that is the reason why you go to the gym, when you step on the scale, you are not motivated because you'll find that you've, you are still ballooning yet you've mm -hmm. been working very hard. Mm -hmm. So you have to detoxify in a natural way before you do anything else. Because there is no way you can go to the gym, yet you still retain your toxins. You have to detoxify. Mm -hmm. So yes. how do, does one detoxify? Now this treatment of, the, of, the, of, of mummifying, open up your clog pores. Okay. Toxins that you have will be coming out. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, you detoxify in a natural way. Detoxify in a natural way. Mm -hmm. And that's how you conduct your treatment in the natural way. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, how is that, why is that uh, important? Or, you know, why is that important than, you know, going for surgery? Because some people opt to go for surgery for weight loss, to remove fat and everything. Okay, what I'll say, even if you go for a surgery, uh, one thing is, you'll still put on. It doesn't matter. You didn't gain your weight in a day so that you want it to go in a day. This should be a journey. Mm -hmm. And you won't be left with any scar. And it's something that you'll be able to maintain. Because once you do it in a natural way, and you're being guided on how you're meant to have your food, you'll be able to maintain it. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. And it's forever. You'll never put on again. Okay, it's, yes. uh, Okay. this sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. And now you said it's a journey. Yes, yeah? it is. But for someone come, you know, who wants to just uh, reduce some small weight because just to fit in a wedding dress, mm -hmm. <laughs> they can come for uh, one session? Depend on how you are, depend on how big you are, mm -hmm. as I've said. Now once, okay, now the mummification, it's not a weight loss. It's an inch, inch lo loss. Mm -hmm. So as in within the first session, at least you can be able to fit on an outfit that couldn't fit you. Mm -hmm. So for you to maintain whatever you've lost, we have to sit down and discuss about your eating habit. Okay. So other than the detox, other than the universal contour wrap, we still have some other treatment that mm -hmm. you are having. That is one of the uh, universal contour wrap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is one of them. But before we go to the other uh, mm -hmm. treatments, how long does uh, the contour wrap take the journey for someone you know, going through the weight loss journey, not the inch loss journey, approximately? Actually, what I can say, you are what you eat. You are actually what you eat. I know you don't want to hear that, but mm. it's the truth. You are what you eat. So the universal contour wrap just helps you to lose inches, not weight wise. And then to make your skin more silkier, you'll feel more rejuvenated and it exfoliates. Mm -hmm. So the universal contour wrap purposely is to lose inch, inch wise, not weight wise. Mm -hmm. So in case you're doing just the universal contour wrap, we still have to advise you on your eating habit, that is the portion, mm -hmm. and how you are meant to have it. Okay. Then you'll find that most people don't take water. Mm -hmm. You might say as in, it's very cold at the moment. But the body needs water, as in 90% of our body is water. So if you don't take water, you'll find that you'll find that you're not flushing out the toxins. And when you go to the loo, you'll find that your urine is a bit yellowish because it, 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 you have a lot of acidity. So you have to take plenty, plenty of water so that you can keep on flushing out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've said that, you know, uh, it's not a must for one to apply the, you know, uh, oil or lotion, especially when... It's a must. The you should not. You should not. Because <laughs> <laughs> once you're on the treatment, uh, it makes the skin more silky. Okay. So, so once you do, you, you get back to your, to your whatever, to your, uh, to your, to your ideas of applying, applying the oil, you are clogging the pores again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So now what happens to people, because people have different types of skin, mm -hmm. for the people with dry skin, because now you will be uncomfortable in your own skin, you, you're too dry, you feel like, especially on the face, mm -hmm. how, how does one cope On with your that? face you can do your makeup, you can do everything. Mm -hmm. But now for the body, the body has got its own oil. Mm -hmm. so you just just try for a week. Mm -hmm. Just try for a week, <laughs> you do away with, with applying any lotion on your body other than 
from the knees downward and from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people, you know, will be seeing Yeah, yes, you. <laughs> yes. But the body has got its own oil. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is a, a relief for many. <laughs> 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 and now, to the problems that the men face before we come to the other treatments. Mm -hmm. What are some of the problems that, you know, men, uh, that you have come across with men? With, with men at the moment, mm -hmm. they are so concerned about their weight. They are so concerned about, it, about how they look. So you'll find them, as I've said, it's not a status. Having a big belly, it's not a status. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that with guys, they have a problem on their tummy and their, and their love handles, and some have developed boobs. A man doesn't need to have, be having boobs anyway. Mm -hmm. It's natural from Kitambo, it has, men has never been having boobs. So now, for men, you'll find that they have, okay, like now for men, people who take beer, they're not meant to have beer. Yes, as in, not forever, during the time that they are on the session. Because like, once you take the alcohol, you are going to, you, well, once, you, you, once you take the alcohol, you are going to slow the metabolism. Mm -hmm. You slow the metabolism. So guys, most of them, when they are on the, on, the, on the therapy, you tell them not to take alcohol, but you find that they've already taken. So they mm -hmm. put you on zero work. So they get back to zero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Because wow. the, mm -hmm. the, the purpose of the rap, it speed up the metabolism. Mm -hmm. So once you take the alcohol, you slow back. You get back to where you were before. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be disciplined because you have the willpower. Okay. Yes. And now uh, taking you back to mummification mm -hmm. and some of the effects that are there when, you know, to some people, uh, people do people react differently to the treatment? You know, because something, I don't know if you're, you know, applying something. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. You, you're applying something to, to the body. Mm -hmm. Does it have an effect? And what is that that you're applying? Okay, as I've said, we have natural clay from the Dead Sea. It's natural clay yes. from the Dead Sea. That we apply on the skin. Uh -huh. Actually, after the treatment, you, your skin will be more silkier. Mm -hmm. And it's very good for people who have enzyma. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, may, it just makes the, the skin looks more, more, more silkier. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and is there a side effect? It doesn't have any. It's natural. Because it's natural. And there's nothing that you're taking internally. Uh -huh. It's just natural. Okay. So there's nothing that you're taking internally. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the treatment applies to both the men and the women, all the treatments? To everybody. To everyone. From eight years. Because uh -huh. you have some, some kids who are very big. Mm -hmm. Still, they can do the, the, the universal control wrap. Okay. It's for everyone. So we have the only side effect that we have, the only contraindication that we have is for someone who is expecting. We can't touch someone who is expecting mm -hmm. or someone who have an open wound. Otherwise, the others can have it. Okay. Yes. And now what are some, we have the universal contour wrap. What mm -hmm. I mentioned uh, before explaining the other treatments that mm -hmm. are there. Okay, we have the universal contour wrap that you have to do before you do any other thing so that we can detoxify. We also have the cavitation. Mm -hmm. Yes. The cavitation treatment is for liquidifying the fat deposit. Because once you're big, like mostly for women, you'll find someone having some orange peel. Those are the fat deposits that are already there. Mm -hmm. Even if you put on a nice outfit, you'll be noticing there's some deep dimples. Mm -hmm. So with the cavitation, it will liquidify the fat deposit. Mm -hmm. then, you'll be more si then, the, then the skin will be more smooth. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the fat deposit that one has in the body mm -hmm. will come out naturally like waste byproduct. As in when you go in there to the loo, yeah. you'll see the yellow things that are coming out from your body. Okay. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And uh, w the, the other treatment? We have the cavitation. Mm -hmm. We also have the presotherapy mm -hmm. that helps on the lymphatic drainage and it helps you to lose inch wise. Okay. We also have the slimline machine that will help to stimulate the nerves and to exercise up your muscles. Mm -hmm. A single contraction is like doing 100 sit-ups within a second. So when you're on the coach, you'll be working very hard, but mm -hmm. you'll be sleeping. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the, all the treatments that you Those are the, all the treatments that, you are, that we are having. But mm -hmm. still, you have to advise your client on their eating habit. As I've said, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. Yes. Okay, before we get into the eating habits now, mm -hmm. how do you uh, categorize uh, where a client should, which treatment a client, sh client should take or is, the, or is it the client that chooses, I want the cavitation, I don't want the 
counter yeah i'm forgetting the name okay now <laughs> now there is no way you can go to the doctor and say now i need this i need this one no <laughs> once i check on how you are mm -hmm. okay now we have to do all the treatment anyway because mm -hmm. every treatment has got its own purpose the universal contour wrap just detoxify okay and you lose inches mm -hmm. now the cavitation liquidify or break down the fat deposit mm -hmm. the slim line turns the body because once you once you lose inch wise you won't be wobbly wobbly of mm -hmm. course you need to be firm okay so it firms the body mm -hmm. the pressure therapy will help to on the lymphatic drainage so each and every treatment has got its own purpose okay so we have to do everything but now depending on how big you are it's when i'll know okay for you you need how many session cause of how big you are because by the end of the day we need to achieve our goal mm -hmm. yes all right so, so you have to go through the whole treatment yes yes and then you decide on the number of sessions depending on on how big one is on how big one yes, is yes, okay yes, yes. and now back to you know the natural way of doing it using mm -hmm. the dead clay mm -hmm. do you import the clay now yes we do uh-huh yes and there is no dead sea in kenya yeah, of course yeah <laughs> It's not dead sea yeah, in Kenya. So you, you do the importation. Does that, uh, you know, contribute to the cost? So, so in short, I'm asking how <laughs> costly is it? How co it's, it's pocket friendly. Because mm -hmm. what I can say is, like now people who are very big or people who have already some terminal illness because mm -hmm. of their weight, more the time when you go to the doctor, you, be, you need to cut down on your weight. But you're not told on how you'll do it. Mm -hmm. You spend your time on the gym, but still, you don't get whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So, what I can say with the treatment, it, it's, more, it's, 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 it's cheaper than being sick and you spend your lifetime on medication. Mm -hmm. So, once you do the treatment, you can revert some illness that are already there. Because of the fat deposit. Okay. Yes. So uh, I know you don't want to mention the price. No, the price. What I'm saying, it's pocket okay. friendly. It's pocket friendly. Yes. So that's the much that you can say now. That is the much. Because you see, uh -huh. like now, it's like you've called the Nairobi hospital. Mm. Oh, I'm having a backache. How much will it cost me? So you the doctor has to see how you are for him to know mm -hmm. what and what you need to have. All right. So I can't just foretell. This is what will cost you. And I don't know how you are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Where are you located for someone who wants to contact you? We are in Harlingham at a place called Chakakot. Okay. Yes. Your site or your social handle? Yeah, yeah. We are on FB as Mosteline Clinic. Mm -hmm. Yes. On, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, back to the eating habits. Mm -hmm. But before we go to the eating habits, mm -hmm. what if once... If, what if one wants to just come to shape their body? They don't have any uh, problem with weight. Mm -hmm. uh, they just want to shape their body in a certain way. Do you help that? Okay, what you can do for such kind of a client, we'll just concentrate. Actually, we only concentrate on the problem areas. Because mm -hmm. you might find someone has, sorry to say, like the Bantus. We are big on the upper part and small on the down part. So in that, we are going just to concentrate on the problem areas only. We mm -hmm. just concentrate on the problem areas only. On the problem areas only. Alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now to uh, the eating habits. What should what uh, what do you advise someone in the treatment now to to take on in their diet? Okay, you have to eat because you need energy, but now we we'll check on the portion, mm -hmm. on whatever you eat, and we avoid the junk food. If you have to, to tell the client, you have to tell them to take water. As I've said, most people don't take water. Mm -hmm. And once you take water, you'll find that your skin will be more silkier. You'll be having, you'll be able to be do to be ha having very good bowel movement, because mm -hmm. you might find that people there are some people who stay for three to four days without going to the loo. Yeah. Because they don't take water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So water is water is very one. essential. Mm -hmm. Now we have to be taking fruits like Africans. It's very rare for us to take fruits. You should be t making sure. Wherever you are having your food, at least you have your fruits. Mm -hmm. But you should not take your fruits with the food. As in, when, in case you want to have your fruits, it should be 30 minutes before food okay. or 30 minutes after, after food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it the same case for water? You know, Water, okay. There's a way of taking water, not just taking water like. There's a way of taking water. So once you're taking water, you should have to be seated as you are. 
and you take your s water slowly, slowly. Okay. Not like now when you go to the gym or when it's so sun, so it, the sun is very hot. Mm -hmm. Then you go get water from your fridge and just take it gulp up. It's not advisable. Mm -hmm. And then very cold water have its own side effect. Okay. Very, but depend on someone still because you might find that you're having sore throat. So there's a way of taking water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is the ideal way of taking water? You've said you're supposed to take water when seated. Yes. And in, you know, in portions. Yes. Slowly, yes. slowly. Mm -hmm. And from the gym. So that the water can be absorbed well in the body. Uh -huh. And yes. from the gym, you're not supposed to take cold water. You see, most people, <laughs> once they, they come out from the gym, they ever get in the fridge, take their water, mm -hmm. and the water has some side effect. Once you t it's not helping you. Mm -hmm. Fine, you've taken the water, but it's not helping you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, what are some of the causes that, are there certain causes that, you know, that make one to have a flabby, you know, a flabby uh, bicep. <laughs> bicep or a big tummy, you know. Are there certain reason or it just happens in the body? It's cause of eating, definitely. That is what, okay, some people might say it's the genes, but I don't, I don't agree on that. Mm -hmm. you are, as I've said, you are what you eat. You mm -hmm. You'll tend to see that people overeat. Or yeah. you take food that are not meant, that the food that are not helping you. Mm -hmm. But someone can eat a lot and not grow big, but their tummy grows big. Dep uh, depend on an individual. Because like for, for, mm -hmm. for, for women, our problem is the tummy, the tires behind, and the bicep. Yeah. Like I have a client who is very tiny, tinier than you. Mm -hmm. But, you see, you are tiny. Mm -hmm. I have a client who is tinier than you, but her problem is just the tummy. Okay. And with that, she has uh, diabetic type 2. She's very tiny. Mm -hmm. Now, as we are going through the treatment, at least I'm happy to see how she is doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yes. And do, would you advise for intermit intermittent fasting as a way of keeping healthy? Depend on an individual. Because mm. what I can say, I mean, yeah, you can time yourself as in you'll be eating after certain hours. Mm -hmm. But what I always say is don't have your food and go to bed immediately. Take like an hour or 30 minutes after taking your food to go and sleep. Because mm. mostly in Africa, what we always do, once you eat, you're in your blanket. <laughs> yeah. You've taken a very big ugali. I mean, you have to check even on your portion as well. You've taken a very big ugali, then you just go straight to bed. Mm -hmm. That ugali will be deposited like a fat deposit because there is no energy that you have used for the ugali that you've taken. Mm -hmm. But still depend on the kind of job that you do because people who are on mjengo, you can't just tell them to take portion. They are using quite a lot of energy to digest or because of the kind of work that you are, they're doing. So you, you are seated here. Hmm. I'm not saying that you're not working. You are seated here. You can't have the same portion as someone who is on the mjengo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it, it, the portion is okay depending on the type of work that yes, one yes, does. Yes, yes, yes. And it, maybe you could explain to us, why, does, why is it that when someone eats a lot, uh, in the morning they feel, wake up feeling extremely hungry? Because you just overate. Mm -hmm. You even didn't, okay, you didn't sleep well. That is one thing. Okay. And you're so fatigued in the morning because you overate. Mm -hmm. So you didn't sleep well. So what do you expect in the morning? You're just tired. You're just there. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like doing anything. So that is what I'm saying. Before you sleep or after having your meal, take like 30 minutes or an hour mm -hmm. doing some exercise in the, in the house or doing some duties, some chaos in the house. Mm -hmm. In that, by the time you sleep, you'll have already used the energy that you've consumed. Okay. Yes. And what advice would you give to someone, uh, you know, someone who's just, who's not gotten, you know, uh, any of these problems, mm -hmm. these specific pl problems, that uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, the uh -huh. stomach and everything, how should one maintain? You should tell someone of... like you. <laughs> <laughs> how should you maintain? Well. <laughs> <laughs> how should you maintain? Yeah. Okay, I'll just tell you to... Okay, some people have very fast metabolism and mm -hmm. it's an advantage to them. Mm -hmm. So people who are not big at the moment, and they don't tend to be big because it has its side effect. Mm -hmm. Just check on your eating habit. It's mm -hmm. the only way for you not to be a bigger person. Yeah. Now for people who have small babies or people who are expecting, don't eat for three people or for two people. Oh. Just yeah. have a meal for one person. Mm -hmm. Even if you're mm -hmm. breastfeeding, 
don't overeat. Because if you don't have milk, you don't have milk. You just healthy food that will give you milk. Okay. Yes. And the treatment for uh, um, a person who has just uh, delivered mm -hmm. a baby, mm -hmm. do you do it for people who have gone through cesarean or it takes time until they recover, until they recover, now they come? Or no, for the CS, you have to give them time, of course, to heal. To heal. Yes, yeah, like nine weeks. Mm -hmm. And just normal delivery, you can give a person like six weeks. Okay. Actually, with the body wrap, you'll have much more flow of milk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. F mm -hmm. Finally, as we come to a close on this conversation, mm -hmm. what hap do you uh, also attend to people who want to gain weight? You know, some people are very slender and mm -hmm. uh, I know... They want to stuff, put on weight. And they want to put on weight. Do you also help with this? You just, them, you just tell them to have more calories. Hmm. Because like now, people who are overweight or people who are on the process, you try to cut down on carbs. Mm -hmm. Carbs are energy-giving food, but they make you to gain weight. Mm -hmm. So people who are underweight, you advise them to take more carbs, which are energy-giving food that will help them to build up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you very much. Okay. What are some the last tips in summary of everything that you have said for someone who is watching and they want to reduce weight uh, or, you know, a certain aspects of, you know, weight in their body. And mm -hmm. uh, again, remind us where they can find you on your social handles. Uh, what I can say is, for people who are not yet big, kindly don't get there. Check on your eating habit mm -hmm. so that you can be able to maintain however you are. Mm -hmm. uh, people who are still very big, they should still as well check on their eating habit. You are actually what you eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are smiling because yes. I'm stepping on you, but your body, you have a very <laughs> nice body. You Thank have a very you. nice body. So the thing is, you are actually what you eat. Mm -hmm. So what I can ask people is, whoever wants to contact me, I'm in Harlingham at a place called Chakakot. Mm -hmm. My number is 0722-874-317 or 0722-874-317. People who are coming from town, they can go to Kencom, get bus number 46, then arrive at Chaka. They'll see a black gate written in white Chaka coat. I mean, they are in office number four. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for shedding some light on the weight loss journey in the natural way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a pleasure having you with us. Thank you so much. I am so humbled being here, and I hope for the few minutes that we've been here, mm -hmm. People have got some few tips that they can work on. Yes, sure. Yes. I, I, I believe that <laughs> someone has gotten a tip from this. Remember, what you are, what you eat. That has been a conversation on the weight loss journey, the natural way, with Dr. Nelly Kuria, who is a professional nutritionist with over 20 years of experience. Yes. So now uh, we bring this, uh, around to this particular conversation. But Brian Sakwa will be coming up with yet another interesting conversation. Don't go too far. We take a short break. We'll be right back.